In this episode, we would like to show you two very beautiful but also very challenging parts of our bike touring trip across Argentina. The following takes place between the two cities of Malargue and Chosmalal. Hello and welcome to the 421 Adventure Place of Rest for a few days. I want to show you our room. It's basically just a big mess. I think it's uh, normal for cyclists to arrive to a place where they're going to stay for a few days and just uh, open all of their bags. You have a lovely table. Yes, full of stuff. Yeah. But eatable stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marco is not really happy. I'm not really happy because I'm going to carry all of this stuff. The thing is that we're going, we live in Malargue tomorrow and we have three, maybe four days of not much Ines. So I just want to show you very, very quickly what we have here. We got some eggs. It's always great to boil them. Of course, we had to stack up on peanut butter, aka the fuel of every living cyclist. Some, some of this horrible dried stuff, which comes in really, really handy if you're stuck in the middle of somewhere uh, without any food and you can just boil some water and, and get some calories. And today for the first time, we're going to try these things. What are they called? Sapaggio. Sapaggio. They're like, um, they're like a courgette. A problem. The tire in the middle of the road gave it away. Oh, no more asphalt. What's going on? I see what's happening. All right. Really, we need to talk. Yes, it's 40 degrees, but I'm making fire. The reason is because there's these ugly, really, really, really horrible big flies which uh, bite. And um, a really good way of keeping insects away is smoke. So uh, we're gonna smell like sausages tomorrow, but at least the flies are not getting us.
let's have some fun! That's it, we are finally on the dirt road. Of course it's not ideal, but it depends where your comfort zone is. And it's important to know that it can always be worse. And these difficult parts make you appreciate the good ones even more. Did someone say volcanoes? Okay, so welcome to the volcanic chain of... I can't remember the name, doesn't matter. It's really cool. I mean, you can see a lot of uh, volcanoes there. That's a cone. Those are all cones. Those are all volcanoes. And basically all of this is, a, uh, is an eruption. It's a lava flow. And then it's even more visible if we go to this side and you can see that that's like as far as the lava went what's up it's hard and it's long and it's hot and it's hot yeah that's not what she said <laughs> that's what i said <laughs> and it's... it's kind of true it is hard and long and hot you need a lot of patience who people who do that ah yeah Definitely. This place is awesome! Like the river has dug a canyon in the lava, like lava is super hard. It's the end of the day and it's time to think about what happened today. It was really intense, both physically and mentally. I think it really tests yourself. The way is really difficult. It's a mix of a lot of stones with sand. And the difficult thing is that it's for a very long time, which makes it very hard. And um, it's really hot. We have more than 32, 33 degrees. But even though we started early, it's, I mean, it gets hot at eight o'clock, so. Uh, we found this place, it's a house with no one inside, um, maybe like a farmhouse where someone comes once in a while. And then we spend the afternoon editing videos and uh, writing our diary and then we had to start preparing dinner and lunch for tomorrow okay so i've just come back from my shower in the river very nice very fresh although uh, there were a lot of flies and um, i just wanted to add something to what aurelie said well a lot of people have been telling us that this was going to be really hard and um, we should skip it but the thing is that we're not here for a week or two weeks or three weeks. I mean, we're not on holiday. This is actually our way of living. This is our lifestyle. And if we would just skip this hard part, then we would probably end up skipping all of the hard parts. And um, as I said, this is our life. This is how we live. So in life, you can't skip the hard parts. You have to, uh, you have to face them. Uh, it makes you stronger. It teaches you um, something. You always learn something out of this. And finally, when you're riding somewhere nice, it's always a lot nicer, you know? Just, just, just like life. Um, the hard parts always make you appreciate the easy parts a lot better.
Luego, eh, después del río sube, ¿no? Sí. Vale, y allí todavía es ripio, ¿no? En la sí. subida. Queda bastante. Sí, eso, tardaremos bastante en Muy llegar. Bien. First break of the day, we're uh, refueling with some uh, peanut butter and jam toast. Very hard. I think our morale is not super high. Uh, we've just done 20 kilometers in two hours. And if you're not very good at maps, that's like 10 an hour. The problem is not that we're going slow. The problem is that we're knackered already. It's really, really difficult to cycle on this. So we have about 20, 22 kilometers of climb. Let's get some more of those uh, peanut butter and jam. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so uh, we're halfway up. It's um, it's hard. It's uh, starting to get hot now. I think we're doing about eight kilometers an hour. Yes. So uh, yeah, so it's going to take us uh, a bit more to get to the top, but we're slowly getting there. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, and. Um, and also at the top we'll have some uh, tamak, so uh, let's uh, put some sun cream on and do this. It's almost over! Stop recording. It's here! It's here! Poo, Jesus! <laughs> oh. oh, it's so hard. <laughs> oh. So the good news is that we've survived. It was uh, super hard and I can't wait to go to bed. It's quarter past twelve. Good time to go to bed. I don't know if you can see it, but it says 40.65 kilometers in 4 hours 50 minutes. That is definitely a record. <laughs> bye bye. See you never. That's the amazing place where we slept last night. What a place. Today as a warm-up present, we got a steep climb. Where well, he's coming over there. But it's a beautiful day in Argentina. Now we are having a little bit of downhill and I can tell you that we will really appreciate it. Let's go! Mm. 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 
do you look so happy? Because I'm cycling. All right. And I like it. Cool. Ah, I thought the glass was broken. It is broken. Really? Yeah. Or at least referring to the fact that I just dropped the camera and the lens protector broke. Uh, maybe you can see it, I'm not sure. But anyway, there you go. Stuff that breaks. Well, we're here at the crossroads between the 37, which goes left, and the 53, which goes straight. And this is a very important crossroad for us. Because today, 31st of December 2021, we are beginning the ascent to... The Roman Volcano. Yeah, where we're going to spend tonight, hopefully, if we get there. Yeah. And uh, it's fun. I mean, we told ourselves that we want to tarmac for a few days. But then we got, we got to Barrancas and everyone started talking about this trail and we thought, ah, uh, boom hole. Okay, we just reached this really, really, really random place. Uh, I can't wait to get closer and check it out. It seems like uh, it's a farm. I don't know if you can see it, but there's cows or horses grazing. Uh, but it's really random because, I mean, this area is really dry and uh, we have no idea how on earth that exists, actually. So we're gonna go and check it out. Maybe they have Swimming pool? Or maybe they have a swimming pool. I was going to say Rice Krispies, okay. Drying sheep skin. Shade. Yeah, it's perfect. Shade, is this even a table? Check that out. Yeah. Now all we have to do is find the fridge and get some Cokes. Some oh, some wine! Yes, this place is perfect. Sorry, sheep. What is it? Is it? Look at this. This is heaven. It just looks amazing. We're trying to decide who needs to go first. I mean, the heaviest, no? So it will be you. So we're gonna do this. Ready? Piedra, papel y tijera. <laughs> okay, then you feel me.
It's the 1st of January and what a better day to cycle. We have 10 kilometers to the top and it's uh, very steep. So we are at a very low speed. We are doing five kilometers an hour. And also there is a lot of wind, which makes things harder. Also, um, it's a lot more difficult than yesterday because the, um, the ground is a lot looser. And uh, once I almost fell and I, I don't know what, but I think I, I hurt my leg with uh, my left pedal. Oh, wow, brand new. We bought this in Thailand, by the way. <laughs> But now let's go back to the volcano. Shot, so I hope we hope you really enjoy them. So here we are, back to civilization. We're in this little place called La Salada. Uh, the tarmac road starts there. I can see it. I can smell it. And now it's basically just uh, 10 kilometers to uh, the place where we're going. I can't remember the name, sorry. Ah, Chosmalal. Here comes already. She doesn't look happy. I understand the wind, the cold, hot weather, it's the nature, no? But this, the road, was made by humans. Yeah. Mi nombre es Ariel, Ariel Bravo. Me conoce todo el mundo como Pato Bay. Soy de Chosmalal, provincia del Neuquén. Siempre me gustó la bici, el deporte en sí, en realidad. Me hace muy bien estar en contacto con gente así como ustedes, con la gente que, anda, que corre en bici. Bueno, la idea es hacer un parador eh, para los bikers que, que están que transita por la 40, que nos visitan, que están un día o dos días y bueno, eh, brindarle así sea un lugar eh, tranquilo, agua caliente donde se puedan bañar, donde puedan descansar uno o dos días y continuar el rumbo que, que llevan. La verdad que siempre disfruto mucho cuando nos visitan y bueno, siempre compartimos charlas, eh, algunas comidas típicas, el asado que en Argentina se come. Y bueno, eh, lo espero en una próxima gira, bueno, estamos acá siempre.